everybody, it's Bunny, and today I'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day video. I have no idea why I'm dressed so fancily today. It is a regular Wednesday. Actually, it may be Tuesday. I don't quite remember what day it is. I guess it's because I just got this dress in the mail today, and I have been waiting forever for it to arrive, and I'm so excited to wear it, so... I'm dressed fancily and I'll film an outfit of the day. We can have a fancy party together. In the background, I'm seeing like this majestic deer family that's like hanging out where I normally film. So excuse this outfit of the day for a second. I'm gonna show you these deer. Get excited. Sweet little deers for your viewing pleasure. Enjoy them, enjoy them. All right, bye now. I just like sliced my leg open on a bramble, but I hope you enjoyed our little nature journey. Back to the outfit of the day. Where was I? Where was I? No explanation for my fanciness. It's really, really hot out here. Let's start out with my hair. I am doing my everyday style pretty much now, which is the Dirty Dr. Quinn. Some of you may be sick of seeing this, but I'm not sick of doing it. I think it looks kind of magnificent, but I put two different types of dry shampoo in my hair today, which is a strategy that I do not recommend because my hair actually smells like the produce section at your local grocery store today. It is nasty. My makeup is my normal makeup for pretty much the entire summer. I've been taking a break from wearing red lipstick lately because I've just been loving this Benetint stain. And FYI, I know some people were laughing at me last time I talked about this stuff, but it is for cheeks, lips, or something else. I don't know, I can't quite remember. On to the clothing. This dress came from a relatively new website that I've been shopping on called Choices. I think that's how you pronounce it. It looks like Choices, but spelt wrongly. So I think it's Choices. They have some really cool stuff on that website. They pretty much add brand new stock every single day. It's always cool to look at their website. I absolutely love this dress. I was nervous if it was gonna fit right or if the fabric was gonna feel gross or cheap or anything like that, but it doesn't. I love it. I'm beyond pleasantly surprised. I got it because I love this super weird motif that's going on. It's like knights or soldiers or soldier knights. I don't really know what their purpose is, but they're marching and they're carrying swords. So they must be doing something important. Now we can move along to accessories. My bracelets, actually this leafy looking one is not really a bracelet, it's a headband. And I bought this headband forever ago at Urban Outfitters. And then this other bracelet that's kind of like this stone looking thing, this came from a website called Vitacush. And I will link you to everything that can be linked down down below in the info box. All of my rings came from you guys in Swamp Family Mail, except for this cross ring that I got a couple months ago at Forever 21. And the other accessory that I have going on today is my phone case. I'm one of those slightly psychotic people that likes to try and match phone cases to outfits and that sort of thing. I got this phone case in Swamp Family Mail as well from a subscriber that makes phone cases and her site is called Bellyacre Cases. And my purse is absolutely nothing new. I have shown this in a million different outfit of the days. It is one of my all time favorite bags and I got this thrifting and I think I paid right around $2 for it. Last but not least, I have some plastic nails on today. So my nails actually look nice and like I did them and like I'm one of those kinds of people. I don't know if the blue shade matches exactly, but it's close enough for me. These are the Impress nails in the only vibrant blue shade that they have. I think they only have like one set of blue nails, but I didn't know how these would look with my skin tone, but I am pleasantly surprised. I think it looks all right. And my very last accessory, that is a Southern girl's favorite accessory, is my Juggo sweet tea. I never leave home without it. And my straw even matches my fingernails today. I am so coordinated. And last, 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 but not least, are my shoes. Once again, this is a pair that I have talked about a million times. I got these from folkster.com. They are the Jeffrey Campbell Antonios. I love these things. They look kind of like pirate boots and just like general ye olde kind of cosplay boots. I don't know. I just feel like I'm some kind of like character from another time and place every time I put these on. These are probably my most worn Jeffrey Campbell shoes ever and I thought they went well with my outfit today. So that is it. That is all, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this outfit of the day. Let me know down below. I don't know if I've asked this before. 
if I have asked this before and I forgot, I'm sorry. But do you guys like it better when I do individual outfit of the day videos or when I try and do like a week's worth of outfits in one video? Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are not already, please take a minute to subscribe, hit that button, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. And I love you guys so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!